Hey y'all, welcome back to the Browse Bunch or welcome if you're new here. I'm Courtney and today's video is a fun one. I'm sharing another Crock-Pot meal video. I've been sharing these every Wednesday this month here on my channel. So if you don't want to miss out on that, then make sure you're subscribed and have your notification bell turned on. But these four recipes that I'm sharing are super delicious. Our family really enjoyed them and there's little to no prep work. So it's perfect for those busy weeknights when you just don't feel like taking the time to cook anything. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get on into it. Okay, so I'm sure you've already noticed, but if you haven't, I do sound a little sick and that's because our whole family's getting over being sick. But if you can ignore that, then you're gonna enjoy these recipes. This first one is a really yummy one. It's gonna be these cheesy meatballs that we turned into meatball sub sandwiches, but you could also just have them by themselves or over like spaghetti or something. So I've got a whole bag of the Italian style meatballs, some mozzarella cheese, and then two different types of pasta sauce. I used this garlic and herb one, and then the four cheese blend as well. And since we're doing the subs, I used some sub rolls too. This is such an easy dump and go crock pot meal. All you gotta do is dump the entire bag of meatballs in the bottom of the crock pot then both of the cans of pasta sauce right on top or jars depending on what kind you're using you can use any kind of pasta sauce this is just the kind that i chose but that is it you just close the crock pot and then stick it on low for about four to six hours So this is how they looked after about four and a half hours in the crock pot. I just gave those a good stir and then added the whole bag of mozzarella cheese. So that is two cups of mozzarella cheese that I used. Just dumped it right on top and then closed the crock pot back up until it was nice and melted. And after it's melted in all of its cheesy goodness, you can serve it however you want, like I said, over spaghetti, or you could even do it like as an appetizer. That would be really yummy too. But we just did ours on some hoagie rolls and had it as meatball subs, and they were very delicious. This next crock pot meal was a family favorite. Like the kids absolutely loved it. And that was a huge win because we can never get our youngest to eat broccoli. And so there was veggies in this and that was just awesome. So this is chicken, bacon, broccoli. And for this recipe, I have some chicken breast here and then some green onions, some Havarti cheese. And then I'll also have some cream cheese that I'm gonna use. And the bacon that I'm using is this black label, fully cooked bacon that you can just stick in the microwave. It's supposed to be an easy meal. It's crock pot meal. I don't wanna be taking the time to make some actual bacon. Then I've got this chive and onion ranch dip mix, as well as a bag of frozen broccoli. Oh, and half a stick of butter. So the only prep work that I did for this meal was cut my cream cheese into little cubes to make it easier to melt down in the crock pot. And then optionally, I uh, cut my chicken breast in half like thick wise and then also into strips just to make it thinner because that's just how we prefer it. But that's totally optional. You don't have to do it. And then I also chopped up some green onions later on. But for the first part of the recipe, that's all I had to do. So after I got the chicken cut, I sprayed my crock pot and then placed all of the chicken down in the bottom and poured the frozen bag of broccoli on top of the chicken, then sprinkled that dip mix on top of both of those. Next, I just took that half a stick of butter, cutting it into slices and spreading it out over my broccoli, as well as taking those chunks of cream cheese and doing the same thing. But then that is it. I just closed up my crock pot and cooked it on high for three hours. You can cook it for three to five hours, but I feel like I have a hotter crock pot, so three hours was perfect for mine. Mm -hmm. 
So this is how it turned out after three hours. And all I'm doing is breaking up that cream cheese and mixing it all together just to get that mixed really well before adding my Havarti. I don't know if I'm saying Havarti right, but the cheese slices on top of that and then sprinkling the green onions and the crumbled up bacon for the bacon. I just cooked it in the microwave longer than it says on the box just to get it crispier and sprinkle that on top. Let it sit in the crock pot until the cheese was melted and then served it. This turned out so good. Like I said, the kids loved it and they even asked for seconds. So it was a win. Everybody loved it. This next recipe is a sloppy joe hash brown casserole in the crock pot and this one really surprised me with how good it turned out. I had had a pound of ground beef, a whole bag of shredded hash brown potatoes, it's like a 30 ounce bag I believe, and then a onion, an egg, salt and pepper to taste, a can of cheddar cheese soup mix, and a can of the manwich sauce as well. I started with spraying my crock pot because I was out of crock pot liners, then I dumped the bag of hash brown potatoes into a large bowl and did a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper added the egg in there as well and then the cheddar cheese soup mix and start all of that around really good before dumping it into the bottom of the crock pot Then I did cook my ground beef before putting in the crock pot. If you already have some like cooked up and stored in your freezer, this would be a perfect recipe for that. I also added the onion into the ground beef and cooked it like that as well. Then when it was done, I drained the grease out and mixed it with the manwich sauce really well and then just dumped it right on top of the hash brown mixture into the crock pot. Then you just wanna cook it on low for about four to six hours. And like I said earlier, my crock pot's pretty hot, so I cooked mine on four hours. And then this is totally optional, but after the four hours, I sprinkled some cheese on top and let that melt, and it was very yummy. I highly suggest adding the cheese. It adds a whole extra yumminess to it. Okay, looking at this coming out of the crock pot, you're probably thinking this either looks really good and cheesy and yummy or it doesn't look the best, but I assure you it was really good. It grew on me the more I ate and we all ended up loving it. Just served it with some green beans that I cooked in the microwave, kept it real simple. Definitely a recipe that I would make again. So this last recipe that I'm sharing with you guys is a really simple one. It is a enchilada chicken and for that I've got some chicken breasts which mine are frozen but um, I've also got a can of green chilies, a can of red enchilada sauce, and some Fiesta blend cheese. So first I'm going to put some chicken broth in the bottom of the crock pot. This is totally optional but I thought it would give my chicken a little bit of flavor since I was just cooking it by itself in the crock pot with some onion salt sprinkled on top. So since it was frozen I cooked it on high for five and a half hours. you're probably wondering why I don't have a crock pot liner in the crock pot anymore. I was taking the bag out to dump out all of the juice which is the next step of this recipe but when I was taking it out it spilled into the crock pot so I just scratched that and so I just stuck the chicken back into the crock pot and set it aside. I took out a small mixing bowl and then mixed the green chilies with the red enchilada sauce, stirred that around really well, poured it right on top of the chicken and then I took the Fiesta blend cheese and sprinkled it out on top of the chicken. You can use however much you want. The more cheese the better in my opinion. I didn't measure it out. Just put what I thought that looked good and let that melt in the crock pot for, until it took about probably 10 minutes I'd say but it turned out really good. We served this with some rice and some refried beans on the side. So 
so that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and that it provided you with some new crock pot meal ideas if you did enjoy it then i would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up if i got the recipes from anywhere i will leave them in the description box below for y'all and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure to let me know in the comments down below but i will see you in the next video bye y'all